against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. One of Doom's most famous quotes is how Doom is the most Christian and religious game ever made. I mean, the game has you killing demons from hell in the name of God, but saying that Doom was the most Christian and religious game ever was just the community poking fun at the idea that Doom is religious at all. That's until Doom 2016 came out and changed everything. I already did an episode about why Doom, that being Doom 2016, is the most religious in Christian game ever made. The franchise went from a human killing monsters in the hallways of Phobos to an unstoppable demigod that makes every single demon of hell shake in fear with his presence alone. In the last episode we talked about how Doom 2016 takes some references from the Bible and applies them in one way or the other into the game. For example, how the victims of hell have the mark of the beast on their foreheads. The comparison between Lazarus, a poor man that died and went to heaven, and the Lazarus waves from Doom 2016. Waves that turn weak-minded individuals into demons, something that is basically being sent to heaven to the UAC cultists. The different depictions of hell in religion and how Doom 2016 matches them, and much more. Now that the story and lore of Doom has been expanded in Doom Eternal, I think it's time to talk about why Doom Eternal is the most religious game ever made. Believe me, its software basically ported the whole Bible into the game this time. This goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyways, this video is just to have fun. I'm not making fun of anyone's beliefs, this channel is all about respect and having a good laugh. Do you know what gives me a good laugh? It's you when you subscribe. If you enjoy videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if this video reaches 10,000 likes, I'll play Doom Eternal inside a church with a priest. He is a good friend of mine. Thanks for the support and enjoy the video. The Divine Trinity Trinity, in Christian doctrine, is the unity of Father, Son and Holy Spirit as three persons in one Godhead. The Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is not the Father. However, the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God as well. This ties in directly with the lore of Doom Eternal, and how these three characters, being Vega, Samuel Hayden, and the Doom Slayer, work together in their relationships. Vega, Samuel Hayden, and the Doom Slayer are a literal depiction of the Divine Trinity. Vega is the Father, the creator of all of the Makers and Heaven. Samuel Hayden is the Holy Spirit, as it has been confirmed that he is the Seraphim, one of the most powerful angels in the Holy Land of Erdak, and the Doomslayer is the Son, as he wields and uses the power of the Father, bestowed upon him by the Holy Spirit. As I have said before, the Divine Trinity is the unification of the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit in one body. They all form God. At one point in the game, Samuel Hayden and Vega loathe themselves into the Praetor Suit's mainframe, making this statement a literal one. Vega, Samuel Hayden, and the Doomslayer all reside in the same place, making him the Slayer of Doom, God. Purging demons with holy fire in the name of God. Yeah, I meant that in a literal way. You can purge them with holy fire. In Doom 2016, we got a hint that the Doom Slayer was killing demons in the name of the All Father, God. And in Doom Eternal, that became true. Fact. The Doom Slayer was part of a civilization called the Argenta, one that praised the Makers, a holy race of highly intelligent creatures, and prayed to the Mother God, the 
Archon Maker. Eventually, the Makers got corrupted by the essence of Hell, and all Hell let loose. But at some point of the story, the Doomslayer crusaded in the name of God and everything holy against the demons of hell. Even though it is stated that he didn't care at all about why they were killing these monsters in the first place, and that he eventually ordered the higher-ups to not include him in any meeting that included politics and all that useless stuff. He only cared about killing demons, no matter the cause. Even after all of that, he was still under the banner of the Night Sentinels, which in turn are under the banner of the Makers, who waged a holy war against Hell, and that in the name of God, they will purge them. I mean, take a look at the armor of the Night Sentinels. It highly resembles Crusader armor from the good old times, the Golden Age. And when you take a look to the ancient ruins for the Nerm, you can see a little bit of Jerusalem there. The whole story of the holy war between the Night Sentinels and the demons is about the Night Sentinels taking back their holy land from the demons, the heretics. It's time for a goddamn crusade! The right hand of God. As I have said before, the reason why the Doom Slayer is so powerful is because he was given the essence, the divine and celestial power of the Father of all beings. The Father has been stated to be the true God of the Doom Universe. By that fact alone, the Doom Slayer is purging demons from the face of reality with the power of God, bestowed upon him by the Holy Spirit. He is, in one way or the other, God. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. I love this quote as it sets the tone as how everyone sees the Doomslayer, his followers on Earth. This is not tied with the Bible or something along the lines, but I thought that it was worth mentioning. Throughout the events of Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, the Doomslayer gained many followers, and just like Dr. Elena Richardson said, it is in Doom that I believe. His actions alone created a religion, a Doom religion. The followers of Doom see the Doomslayer as the supreme being, as someone that is above everyone, not as a god, but as THE god. That is what the followers of Doom and Dr. Elena Richardson believe. Although, if the Doomslayer heard about this, he would be really pissed, as he hates everything that has to do with godhood, religion, all that stuff because of what he saw back in Argentinur. Doomslayer, January 24th, 2163. There is no chance that the subject is a demon. We have blood samples pulled from the Mars base event that show his blood type is AB positive. He is male with a genome that makes him very much a member of the human race. But the enhanced strength, speed, and athleticism would indicate otherwise. But we can see from the blood samples that there are foreign bodies present of unknown origin. I cannot, as a contributing member of the scientific community, agree with the assumption by some of my colleagues that he is, for lack of a better word, a god, an avenging angel, the right hand of doom here to save humanity from its sins. But I cannot ignore that the timing of his arrival, the identity of his enemies, the fire and brimstone element to this catastrophe we currently find ourselves in has, it, it has definitely shaken my scientific resolve. This is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 005, subject analysis of Doomslayer, February 2nd, 2163. Maybe, he is a god. Maybe he represents humankind's rage, their will to persevere, to overcome that which would threaten our survival. He is uncompromising, a relentless being of violence that knows no mention of the hesitation shown by our many leaders and politicians during our time of judgment. 
Can he overcome them alone? If he can't, we as a species, all species, will not survive. This is Dr. Elena Richardson. Log entry 006, February 9th, 2163. The only thing they fear is him. We watched as the Horde overwhelmed the very best and most advanced machinery and weapons technology that we could muster against the opposition. It was useless. They moved too quickly. They cared not for themselves, only sought out the blood of humanity. They were willing to sacrifice their own to get to the heart of our world. We slaughtered thousands and millions more followed, but then he came. He cut through them like a sickle through a field. His fury surpassing their own, he is faster, more relentless. I believe him now to be more than just a man. He is doom. This is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 007, March 3rd, 2163. And with him lies our salvation. For as he gains in strength, so do they fall in numbers. The priests command the armies to the north and south, but he controls the fight. The inner circle of death is where he resides, hunting them at the far reaches of the earth and beyond. I am a believer now. I feel it is in doom that I have faith. The slayer is the spear that stabs at the heart of our attackers, and those that would seek to harm us should feel warned. For there is only one dominant life form in this universe, and it carries a steel-barreled sword of vengeance. All hail the coming of the Destroyer. The Slayer's time is now. Anyway, Spotsins, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and a dislike if you disliked it. It is completely fine. Thanks to all of my patrons that made this video possible, and links to all of my social accounts will be down below. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day. Adios, buttons.